In your investigation, did you find that President Biden set up a shell company and covertly paid $130,000 in hush money to an adult porn star? No. Okay. Did you find that President Biden directed his lawyer to pay $150,000 in hush money to a former Playboy model? No. In your investigation, did you find that President Biden called the Georgia Secretary of State to demand, to demand that he, quote, find 11,780 votes? No. Did you find that President Biden devised a scheme to organize a slate of fake electors to undermine a free and fair election? No. Did you find that leading up to January 6, 2021, President Biden urged his supporters to travel to D.C. and to storm the Capitol? No. Thank you. Each of these activities I laid out describe what Donald Trump did his efforts to bully election officials, overthrow the results of the election, and deceive the American people. That is why Donald Trump has been indicted in not just one, not just two, not just three, but four criminal cases. Thank you, Chairman Jordan. I want to first say that the House Judiciary Committee is responsible for helping to enforce the rule of law. Unfortunately, the actions of this chairman in ignoring a bipartisan congressional subpoena have damaged the ability of this committee to get information from witnesses and damage the rule of law. Now, Mr. Hur, thank you for being here today. Thank you for sharing your compelling immigrant story that just goes to highlight how America is a nation of immigrants. I'm gonna ask you a series of questions, yes and no questions. They are not trick questions. They're simply designed to highlight what you already found in your report, which is that there are, quote, material distinctions, end quote, between President Biden's case and Mr. Trump's case. So here's my first question. In your investigation, did you find that President Biden directed his lawyer to lie to the FBI? We identified no such evidence. Did you find that President Biden directed his lawyer to destroy classified documents? No. Did you find that President Biden directed his personal assistant to move boxes of documents to hide them from the FBI? No. Did you find that President Biden directed his personal assistant to delete security camera footage after the FBI asked for that footage? No. Did you find that President Biden showed a classified map related to an ongoing military operation to a campaign aide who did not have clearance? No. Did you find that President Biden engaged in a conspiracy to obstruct justice? No. Did you find that President Biden engaged in a scheme to conceal? No. Each of the activities I just laid out describe what Donald Trump did in his willful mishandling of classified information and his criminal efforts to deceive the FBI. In contrast, President Biden handed over documents without delay and complied fully with investigators. Mr. Hur, in your report, you write that, quote, according to the indictment, Trump not only refused to return the documents for many months, but he also obstructed justice by enlisting others to destroy evidence and then to lie about it, end quote. You also say that if proven, these would be, quote, serious aggravating facts, end quote, do you still stand by your analysis? I do. Okay. I have a few more questions as well. In your investigation, did you find that President Biden set up a shell company and covertly paid $130,000 in hush money to an adult porn star? No. Okay. Did you find that President Biden directed his lawyer to pay $150,000 in hush money to a former Playboy model? No. Each of these activities I laid out describe what Donald Trump did, his efforts to bully election officials overthrow the results of the election and deceive the American people. That is why Donald Trump has been indicted in not just one, not just two, not just three, but four criminal cases. I yield back. 